Hi, and welcome back to a guide to surviving stroke and brain injury. Today is our final video on our major strokes, and today we're going to cover internal capsule strokes. So an internal capsule stroke affects the blood vessels that are deep within the brain. Because there are many crucial fibers that pass through the internal capsule, even a small stroke in this area can result in a significant loss of motor control, sensation, or cognition. Fortunately, there are effective ways to recover functions affected by internal capsule stroke and improve your quality of life. The internal capsules are V-shaped, tiny, tiny structures that are located deep in your brain. Many motor, sensory, and cognitive fibers run through the internal capsules as they travel between the cerebral cortex, that's the outer layer of your brain, and the brain stem, the lower area that connects to your spinal cord. Both hemispheres of the brain have an internal capsule. As a result, damage to the left internal capsule generally affects the right side of your body while damage to the right internal capsule affects the left side of your body. Motor control and or sensation can be affected. The uh, secondary effects of internal capsule strokes include sorry it's the brain's ability to utilize I'm sorry let me start over. <laughs> secondary effects of internal capsule stroke <laughs> sorry Blood is rich in oxygen and other essential nutrients that fuel brain activity. When blood supply is cut off, brain cells start to die, which can affect various sensory, motor, and cognitive functions. Unfortunately, brain cells that have died are unable to repair themselves or regenerate. However, through the brain's ability to utilize neuroplasticity functions, Functions affected by an internal capsule stroke may be recovered. Secondary effects that may occur after an internal capsule stroke include pure motor hemiplegia. When the posterior limb of the internal capsule is affected by stroke, it generally affects movements and coordination. In fact, the most common effect of internal capsule strokes is pure motor hemiplegia. Pure motor hemiplegia results in strictly movements related effects on one side of the body. In internal capsule strokes, pure motor hemiplegia is generally proportionate, meaning that it affects the face, arms, and legs at equal severities. Two is facial weakness. The muscles of the face and neck are controlled by an area of the internal capsule called the genu. I hope I'm saying that right. Damage to this area can affect functions like speaking, chewing, and swallowing. As a result, individuals may struggle to swallow dysphagia, which I had, have difficulty with eating and are struggling with speech, dysarthria, and other motor speech disorders after an internal capsule stroke. Cognitive impairments are the third. These anterior limbs of the internal capsule contribute contributes to various cognitive functions. As a result, a stroke in the arteries that supply the anterior limb may lead to confusion, memory disorder, impaired attention, anxiety, agitation, and speech disorders such as apraxia of a speech. As a result, internal capsule stroke survivors with anterior limb damage will likely experience cognitive fatigue. Sorry, I fly. <laughs> He's bugging me. Will likely experience cognitive fatigue, mental exhaustion, because of the brain has to work harder to concentrate. This can result in behavior changes like increased agitation or confusion. Number four is sensory loss. 
somatosensory fibers run through both the genu and posterior limb of the internal capsule. Therefore, damage to either one of these areas after a stroke can result in loss of sensation in the opposite side of the body. Sensory impairments are often reported in the form of heaviness, numbness, or loss of tactile sensation. Similar to pure motor hemiplegia, loss of sensation occurs in the face, arm, and leg equally. Number five is hearing impairments. So your hearing is partly controlled by an area of the internal capsule called the sublenticular segment. This area of the brain transmits auditory signals from the thalamus to the auditory cortex. When the internal capsule stroke affects this area, the survivor may sustain hearing impairments. Number six is visual, visual impairments. Your vision is partly controlled by an area of the internal capsule called the retrolenticular segment. <laughs> When this area of the brain is affected by stroke, the survivor may experience visual impairments such as hemianopia, losing half of your visual field, and quadratinopia, losing a quarter of your field. Now that you understand the potential effects of an internal capsule stroke, now we'll discuss how to proceed to recovery. So every internal capsule stroke is unique, of course, and requires a personalized approach to rehab that targets each individual's specific deficits. Participating in rehab therapies can help stroke survivors identify which functions need to be developed and learn effective exercises or activities that can help improve them. Rehabilitation therapies that may help individuals recover from internal capsule stroke include physical therapy, survivors who experience difficulties with movement after stroke will benefit from working with a physical therapist. Physical therapy helps individuals improve motor functions through targeted exercises. Very important. Speech therapy. If your stroke results in facial weakness, speech therapy can help. A speech-language pathologist will guide you through exercises designed to strengthen the oral motor muscles so you can chew, swallow, and speak more effectively. The third is occupational therapy. The effects of the internal capsule stroke may contribute to difficulties engaging in everyday tasks such as dressing, bathing, and toileting. In this case, occupational therapy can help you learn new ways to perform these activities to regain some of your independence. Number five is sensory re-education. To restore sensation, stroke survivors should work on sensory re-education exercises with an occupational therapist. They are designed to encourage the brain to relearn sensory processing skills for properties like texture and temperature. So I I participated in this, but mine were for different reasons. So part of it was I knew it was a paper clip, but I couldn't say it was a paper clip. And so one of my tasks was finding the paper clip which was very hard because I was kind of numb in the beginning. My my fingertip nerves were, I don't know, I don't want to say dead, but were inactive. <laughs> so part of it was learning the textures and, and feeling, oh, that is a paper clip, without visual confirmation. So the next is vision training. If you're exper experiencing visual field cuts after stroke, Consider visual training. It involves stimulating your vision with different exercises based on your unique needs. The most effective way to recover after an internal capsule stroke is to promote neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to rewire its neural 
circuitry, which allows functions affected by stroke to be reorganized and improved. Consistently practicing the exercises learned in rehabilitative therapies will reinforce demand for those functions and encourage adaptive changes to occur. The more you practice, the stronger these new connections become. Just remember that. Consider asking your therapist for a home exercise program, which you should, by the way, to continue stimulating your brain to make adaptive changes even outside of your rehabilitation sessions. The key points I want you to understand and really get is because the blood vessels in the internal capsule are so small, they are susceptible to clotting, which can cause a stroke, as we all know. Depending on the severity and the specific location of the internal capsule stroke, various motor, sensory, and cognitive functions may be affected. By stimulating the brain and promoting neuroplasticity through highly rapid, repetitive and task-specific practice, any function affected by stroke has the potential to be improved. That is hope, my friends. That is hope. Hope and faith that it will all change and it can and it will. You just positive psychology that I've been talking about. This is the time. So remember to celebrate every victory, big or small, and never give up hope. And always keep the faith. Till next time.